readers, my name is Liz and today we're reviewing Libabre's Beauty Queens. This is definitely one of my top like three to five favorite books that I've read so far this year. This story is about a bunch of beauty queens who survive a plane crash on this supposedly deserted island. There are these girls that are all primped up and they would not break a nail for anybody and they are called the Sparkle Ponies. And then there are these girls who are called the Lost Girls and they are the ones who uh, use their great knowledge of biology and whatnot to build huts and to start water systems to filter water and catch rainwater so that it's drinkable and uh, they also find food sources and they also find this trippy plant that they eat and they find out some interesting things about themselves. Although these girls are split up into two groups they are technically one big awesome force of girly power. There's a lot of diversity and great perspectives in this book some of which I believe that I wouldn't have ever heard if I hadn't have read these books. Sure, the internet is very diverse in itself, but sometimes you just don't get to hear everybody's stories, and in this book you get to hear um, just a variety of perspectives of the American young woman lifestyles. That was a bit weird. So some were very crazy, but very realistic, and then there were girls that were very strong, and even though there were girls that were strong, they still had a lot of like growing up and coming out to themselves. And by that I mean actually developing their personality and who they are outside of like their parents' home and what their parents have told them to believe and what to do with their lives. For instance, you have Nicole who is an African American young lady and uh, her mother is always telling her to do things to kind of assimilate her into the white American lifestyle and Nicole just isn't feeling it and thankfully she has people like her aunt um, who isn't in the story, but she's in the, like the flashback parts of the story. And thankfully she has this aunt who is just absolutely awesome and tells her, you know, this is your culture, this is where you came from, and I would greatly appreciate it if you would hold on to that culture rather than um, just assimilating yourself to what your mother wants you to be. That's to say that there aren't very many cookie cutter personalities um, that are main characters at least. There are a few like Treyhead girl, that, oh my gosh, that made me laugh every time, like, they would mention that, uh, you know, her, they, they cut her bangs to cover the tray in her head. That made no sense, but if you read the book, it's hilarious, that whole, it, it just mentioned every once in a while, but it was just absolutely hilarious. That and Lady Stashoff, which brings me to talking about the corporation. So the corporation is kind of like this company type thing that, uh, puts out commercials and products, uh, for young women to become beautiful women, to become tan and hot and blonde. There is nothing wrong with being tan and blonde if that is your description of yourself, but if, if that's how you naturally are. But if you're like me and I'm, I'm pale and I got sunburned last two weeks ago and I have brown hair and if I dye my hair bright blonde and got really tan, people would be like, that's not Liz. That was a real bunny trail there, but what I'm trying to say is that the corporation is kind of like Walmart, how they just like bring out all these products and you're supposed to buy, buy, buy. Um, also mixed with that is just like how society kind of, it, it's not to say that society tells you to be a certain way, but there's a lot of like things that we have set in place to say, you should look like this, you should be skinny and this and that and the other and really you should just be yourself and that's what the book is trying to get across is just be yourself and be who you want to be and be comfortable in your own skin and it's not to be preachy or anything like that it's not preachy at all it's just to be like be who you want to be like don't let anybody tell you who else you should be because then you'll just be lost in the forest in the woods and that's, that's not a great place to be. Unless you're a very big camping enthusiast, and then I say go for it. The setting was great because it allowed these girls, or actually forced these girls to just get out of their comfort zone and like bring out their smarts because in the pageant they're kind of supposed to be like dumb and pretty and supposed to tell these cute little stories and in the forest or in the, um, the deserted island they just have to be survivors and Amazon and women, Wonder Women, if you will. It's a very freeing experience to be like out in that kind of setting, um, almost pretty much alone. I would recommend this book to everyone, anyone, seriously. I don't care if you're a boy or girl, I think you should read this, I'm not saying you have to, but it's a very good book if you want perspective of, um, like, the young women in America. It's a very good representation of that. Sometimes I feel like this representation is very few and far in between, but I feel like it's becoming this new thing in literature to kind of bring out this whole idea of, you know, be yourself, don't try to be, you know, the 
Susie homemaker kind of Barbie doll figure kind of person. This is the part when I talk about spoilery kind of stuff because I want to get deep into the the conversation of beauty queens and um, so if you want to go watch something else I'm going to leave some links below to some of my favorite VEDA videos so far the vlog every day in August um, so you should check those out now for spoilery queens Taylor is one of my favorite characters in this book At the beginning I really didn't like her but near the end you know you really start falling in love with her especially like once she goes crazy and you think that she's just gone off into the the abyss of weird and crazy and into the the forest of this island. I think it's a forest or tropics. But anyways I feel like she's just this Wonder Woman and she goes out and does her thing and it's great and she just breaks away from everything that she once was. I feel like her dad really helped her become very very strong but at the same time she always has you know the insecurities of you know why did my mom leave me and all this other kind of stuff and so it was still a very freeing experience to see her become this Amazonian woman. The pirates, the pirates, the pirates. They were so hilarious and crazy and it just it helped you understand like how girls react with guys around and stuff like that. Like after these girls probably hadn't seen guys in months and finally some guys arrive and they're just all like ah so silly. But uh, at the same time it's it was quite entertaining. Overall I feel like it was very interesting to see these girls go from like doing whatever their pageant coaches told them to do and to them saying, you know, F that to their parents and pageants and the corporation and everything and actually like living for themselves and like going out and doing the right things and doing they want what blah what they want to do and go be biologists and all this other good stuff that they can do with their lives. I've been told that the ending is very weird to some people or they didn't really enjoy it but I feel like it was just kind of like a made-for-tv movie like the ending of it um, where they ride off into the sunset and then you see them having their own beauty pageant and um, saying you know hey this is what they're going to do in the future and I think it's kind of like how at the end of a lot of movies you know how um, the announcer or not the announcer but like you know how they'll have like a a text beside like you know them doing their thing and it'll be like oh yeah Nicole's going to go off and be this kind of person and she's going to have a family and blah 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 I don't remember what it said at the end but it was the it was you know epilogue and sometimes you know not a lot of people enjoy epilogues or they're always quite different than you would assume they would be or whatever but yeah that is that I hope you have a great day and uh keep reading